kick and bow for my talent. Now do your own dance. I challenge you. Dance if you're not a coward. <laughs> If they like that mess, they're starving for some real hoofin. I'll kill them. Music, my soul, please. E flat from the top. of me, I know, but what the hey, I gotta have some fun. And besides, it's really duck season. Baby face, I got the cutest little baby face. There, yeah, that oughta fool that silly duck. Don't make a move or I'll pulverize ya. You moved! It's that! 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 Fortunately, he missed me. The world supply of Alludium Fosdex, the shaving cream atom, is alarmingly low. Now, we have reason to believe that the only remaining source is on Planet X, somewhere in this area. And you want me to find Planet X, is that it? Can you do it, Dodgers? Oh, in doobly boobly boobly, sir. Because there's no one knows his way around outer space like... Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century! <laughs> Let's see now, uh, I can deduct six pounds eight shillings for magnifying glasses and gum shoes, Two guineas, sixpence for entertaining footpads, pickpockets, and sneak thieves. And then there's uh, the cab fares, to and from murders. Watkins, in a moment there will come a knock at the door, heralding the start of the mystery of the Shropshire Slasher. Answer it. My pants are caught in a nail. Don't touch that body! A clear case of Karari poisoning of one of Her Majesty's cold cream guards. Telegram. You'd best have that step fixed, Governor. Just for that, you receive no gratuity. I could tell by his tense, eager expression that Holmes was bringing his immense faculties of observation to bear. By George, I've solved it! Have you now, Holmes? That's ripping, you know. Yes, by Jove, I can take my old maiden Aunt Clotilda as a dependent. They've be, been be looking all over Paris for you. Uh, hello, Mary. Hello, Killjoy. Yeah, fl uh, flew in this morning. Got a little job for you, Quacky. Well, thanks for the busman's holiday, Inspector. Yeah, the, this briefcase has got to be delivered to the consulate in West Slobovia. Huh, is that all? In an, no, that's not all. Every spy in the country will try to steal it from you. Well, just hand it over, Inspector, and don't give it another thought. It couldn't be in safer hands. Now, did it, don't let go of it for an instant. Hey, Quacky, the briefcase, it's gone! Gone? <coughs> yeah, look, the man in the green hat! <coughs> Come on, Inspector! <coughs> We miss you. Hey, come back here! <coughs> Mary, Inspector, going my way.
With me dressed up in this skirt and bonnet, no one will be able to identify me. They'll think I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> My, back already? Okay, this is a stick-up. Fill up the shopping bag, and I don't mean with groceries. Yes, ma'am. Don't shoot, ma'am. Hey, where's my trading stamps? Now, 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 now let's see. That was was seven hundred ninety-eight dollars and then forty-four cents. That's it. Never mind. I'll take them all. I'm in a hurry. And she was such a nice old lady. Calling car four five eight two nine six seven three zero oh, five six. Hold up. Reported at semi supermarket. Suspect described as a little old lady wearing a blue dress and bonnet, and carrying a shopping bag containing $798.44, last seen at Cherry and Herring Streets. Uh, car 458296 uh, uh, that's us. Of course, that's us. Now get moving, fast. Cherry and Herring, quick. But we're... Look, I'm Sergeant, and what I say goes. So go! Faster, faster! She'll never get away as long as Sergeant O'Duck is on duty. Uh, Cherry and Herring? That's where we were! Here comes the old lady now. Ready now, ready. Aha, gotcha! Hand over the shopping bag, Granny! Oh no, I won't, you selfish brats! You can't scare me with those Halloween costumes! Take that! And that! Halt! In the name of the law! Help! Help! How do you like that? You come up with something new, and right away you got imitators. Caught ya! Now let me have that bag, Granny. Oh, no you don't. You're trying to get all the credit. I'll take it. You got it. Tasmanian Devil Escapes from Zoo. Now, what in the world is a Tasmanian Devil? The Tasmanian Devil is a powerful, vicious, evil-tempered brute. Hungry at all times, it will eat anything, but is especially fond of wild duck. Yes! Well, he just better not come messing around in this neck of the woods, brother. Cause this little black duck may be small, but I'm not a coward. <laughs> sort of antipathy toward me? And surpassing nothing, I'm after that fur coat. Hey, that's the softest pelt I've ever felt. Do you really like it? I get all my suits from the same tailor as the Duke of Windsor. I always get a good fit from him. Never mind a sales pitch. Just skim the rabbit. Nah, give me a sporting chance, Doc. Stop fiddling with my rifle. I want to shoot you where it won't show. <laughs> Dirty brass of fracks and crabble fracks jump. Ooh, I love him! Are you ready, eager young space cadet? I'm a re 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 all set, your hero ship, sir. Then make way for Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century! Oops! <laughs> Had to sew 
holy thing in reverse. And now then, eager young space cadet, here is the course we shall pursue to find Planet X. Starting from where we are, we go 33,600 turbo miles due up. Then west in an astro arc deviation to here. Then following the great circle, seven radio lubes south by down east. By astro astrobo to here, here, and here. Then by space navigo compass to here, here, and then to here, and here. By 13 point strato cumulus bearing four million light years, and thus to our destination. Now do you know how to reach planet X? Oh, sure. Well, I wish you'd explain it to me sometime, Buster. Uh, we, uh, well, it's very simple, sir. If we follow uh, the, uh, those planets, we can't very well miss Planet X. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> of all the stupid suggestions. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think I've got it. I'll just bet that if we follow those planets, we'll find Planet X. Chad, how do I do it? I uh, don't know. <laughs> We want the Lucha having a shopping bag. Here's one for you, and one for you, and that's all you get. Bubble gun? Sam, you lower me down to the old lady's window, I go inside and take her by surprise. Gee, I gotta hand it to you, Sarge. Fine, fine, I'll take it easy. Little lower. Atta boy. Well, look at the little boydy. Bye bye, boydy. The Tasmanian devil is still at large. You're telling me. An extremely rare and valuable animal, a $5,000 reward has been offered for its capture. $5,000? That's right, 5,000 bucks. I may be a craven little coward, but I'm a greedy craven little coward. I just gotta have that five G's. Flash, according to Zookeeper Burton, this brute becomes docile when exposed to music. Music? Where am I gonna get music? We now continue our program of dance music. Tasmanian Devil! Here, Taz boy! Come get your nice little juicy duck dinner! That's the boy, Tazzy. Come and hear the pretty music. Just follow Papa, you beautiful $5,000 baggy-eyed slob. <laughs> what a cinch. Five thousand bucks for a ten-mile hike. For Daffy Duck. Thank you, my good man. Hey, baggy eyes! Roddy Murray. 
Extra roddy. Make mine a cup of sassafras tea. I'm, uh, looking for a man in a green hat. And I think I know just where to find him. Ha! Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, friend, <laughs> I'll bet that you thought that, that, that I thought that, <laughs> that that you were the man in, in the green hat. <laughs> Might even try to poison me or something to keep me from... <laughs> Like I said, <laughs> to keep me from getting the briefcase. <laughs> Just chose to go, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good joke, huh? Uh, one or two lumps. Sweet to the sweet, I always say. Better make it three lumps. Three lumps. Bonjour, monsieur. That was the man in the green hat. What'll it be now, governors? Hot butter gin. In a nut brown October ale uh, over the rocks. Trifle with me, will you, you ruddy toaster mongers? <laughs> A clue! Uh, really, Holmes, you, you never cease to amaze me. That weapon belongs to none other than the Shropshire Slasher! <laughs> Watch me and learn, Watkins. Amazing fellow. I say, old chap. Beastly weather we're having, what? Ha! Deny it if you dare! And deny, too, that you're the Shropshire Slasher! Thought you could match wits with the great Durlock Holmes, did ya? Why, you fool, you! <laughs> Why, you poor chap! It's too ridiculous! <laughs> it's ridiculous! <laughs> it's ridiculous! <laughs> Me! <laughs> you! <laughs> Come along now, my man. We have an engagement with Scotland Yard. Whoops! <laughs> Mustn't keep the bobbies waiting, you know. <clears throat> I think it only fair to warn you that I have studied Jiu-Jitsu. You may be big, but I'm small! <clears throat> really? <clears throat> I fail to see how you hope to withstand my superior skill. <clears throat> Your name? Is the, speak up, man. Shropshire Slasher. Occupation? Shropshire Slasher. All right, Watkins. Enough of your bumbling. Bumbling upsets Holmes no end. Very well, you rotter. I'm gonna tackle you a capello. I'm brown as a nut and fit as a lass. Toy with me, will ya? Why, with my fierce energy? Oh, oh, oh! Do not take it amiss if I slap you silly! It would be a bit rough on the slasher, but the foolish cove asked for it. You may resume your interrogation, Watkins. In a minute, now look, old boy, uh, how's about returning to prison? Uh, there's a good chap. Yes, sir. I want to do what's right, I do. Get to buy some pretty pretties for your doxy, Governor. That does it. I'm gonna haul you in. Hawking dandelions without a license. Mother. 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 Really? Hey, what's the matter with you anyway? Don't you even know a rabbit when you see one? Hmm? It's true, Doc. I'm a rabbit, all right. Would you like to shoot me now or wait till you get home? Shoot him now! Shoot him now! You keep out of this. He doesn't have to shoot you now. He just so has to shoot me now. I command that you shoot me now. Let's run through that again. Okay. Would you like to shoot me now or wait till you get home? Shoot him now. Shoot him now. You keep out of this. He doesn't have to shoot you now. Ha! That's it! Hold it right there! Pronoun trouble. It's not he doesn't have to shoot you now. It's he doesn't have to shoot me now. Well, I say he does have to shoot me now! So shoot me now!
Oh, no, you don't. Not again. Sorry. This time, we'll try it from the other end. Look, you're a hunter, right? White. And this is rabbit season, right? White. And if he was a rabbit, what would you do? Yeah, you're so smart. If I was a rabbit, what would you do? Well, I'd... Not again. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I claim this planet in the name of the Earth. I claim this planet in the name of Mars. Ooh, isn't that lovely? Mm. Look, bud, I've got news for you. I have already claimed this bit of dirt for the Earth, and there just ain't room enough on this planet for the two of us. I do believe you are right. <laughs> Little does he realize that I have on my disintegration-proof vest. <laughs> you may fire when ready, Grizzly. <laughs> You had a butt in. Well, get back in that spaceship. Uh, yes, sir, your hero ship. Yes, sir. Ha-ha! <laughs> Got the drop on you with my disintegrating pistol. And, brother, when it disintegrates, it disintegrates. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's disintegrated. What? Don't tell me you've got the gall to pull that old sawing in half routine. Yes, if I get a volunteer. Volunteer? Hmm. I'll be your volunteer. This whole thing is a fake. The way it's done is very simple. Fake feet out one end, and I'm all scrunched up in this end. The oldest trick in the book. His turban is a fake, too. Just a hotel towel. Don't applaud him! Look, I'm not cut in half! Stop applauding! It's a fake! Hmm. Like I said, there's nothing to it. All we do is build a suspension bridge from here all the way across to the old girl's living room. Get me a couple of more boards. A couple of boards coming up. One thing I can't stand is a big bad carpentry. Say, well, what are you doing? These nails are all bent. I'm going to put in some new ones. Oh, no, he wouldn't. It's no use, Rabbit. I see ya. You'll never escape from me. Oh, no, not again. Shh, quiet. Follow me, tippy-toe. Okay. Is it okay to talk yet? What? Is it okay to talk yet? I can't hear ya. Is it okay to talk yet? over a four-leaf clover that I overlooked before. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning when Iris' eyes are smiling. Sure is like a moon in spring as we sang love's old sweet song on moonlight. On Moonlight Bay! You two might as well give up because I'm just a little more stubborn than you are. She's a little lock the shutters. Go home, coppers! There, there she is over there.
putting a stop to this once and for all. Young man, I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. Did you get his number? You just can't get away from that pest. Aha! Now you're trapped. I'll smoke him out. <laughs> you haven't got a chance. I'll see you after the spring thaw, pal. We'll see who has the last laugh around here. Slay, whose side you on, fella? Happy your birthday, you with uh, thing from another world, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I guess he's had enough. I'll send him an ultimatum. I know, I know, but I can only do it once. 